Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gavin. This is my channel, and I'm glad that you're joining me today. This is part two in a four-part series of an interview that Todd Kolhep did on November 22nd, 2016, at his request with the police down there in Spartanburg, South Carolina. If you have not watched part one, I will leave a link in the description below. You can go ahead and take a look at that. And you can also, in the description below, <laughs> click on the link to skip over the intro part if you wanna just get into the video. But I wanted to reiterate at, as we kind of get into this that I'm publishing this recording not for the purpose of any type of celebration or glorification of Todd Kolhep. To me, he is an absolute monster who ruined, well, took the lives of seven people and ruined the lives of at least two others. And it's possible that he took the lives of even more. So I, as I edited this, I wanted to include photographs of the victims. And if you want more information about this case, including some of the legal documents that I have gathered from the solicitor's office, just visit my website at gavinfish.com. I'll leave a link below and you can take out the case, check out the case file. I don't have everything up there yet. I'm still going through the giant file that I got from the Seventh Circuit Solicitor's Office, but I will be adding to that page in the coming weeks, okay? With that, let's just go ahead and hop back in. Um, rhino liner? Yeah, mine, mine is like a textured material. Yeah. Yeah, that's mine is. Okay. That, when the bullet goes in, it absorbs it so the fragments don't come flying back out. Yeah. Yeah, if you got the anti-spalding, it yeah. does add thickness to it. Yeah. But that will keep you from getting your face. Yeah, it, it's kind of got a, it's kind of got a texture on it. It's a little thicker. Yeah. Yeah. But it's basically, it basically looks like when they take a, someone basically went and sprayed the living shit out of rhino liner. On right. That's, yeah. That's pretty yeah, much that, yeah. yeah, that's fine. If you don't have that. Yeah. Lose those damn plates. Yeah. Um, uh, but honestly, for most for most things, you're better off just using the the soft armor and using the the always buy the trauma plate. Yeah. Was well, yours come with them? So did mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had a new one in your house. It was pretty nice. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> so <laughs> as far as the cars go, I have no control over that. I'll find out what I can. Well, about my thirteen thousand dollars. I'll find out about that because I asked about that. And initially, um, but they are fucking up my money to the point I can't do anything. Well, a lot of this and, and I'll, I, I actually will see the sheriff tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tell uh, us the hi. I will see the sheriff tomorrow mm -hmm. and talk to him. Um, can they put the 13,000 on my books? Well, I'll find out because this is what happened was everything was good. Every everything was great, and then there were some things that were found out with the weapons and the silencers. What about it? That they were being made, and at the out, at the property, no, and not. things like that. Where were they being made? Because it was a lathe there with some parts of it there. Well, and that's what they took. Then it was being laid there, huh? Okay, well, I made a lot of. Them. So I mean that that was that was an issue. I'm gonna be straight with you. You know, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to shoot you any bullshit. So what's the guy do with the, uh, yeah, but I didn't sell any of them. Well, and that's what they're, they're, they were trying to find out. No. Um, so I am supposed to meet with my captain and sheriff and everybody tomorrow. Okay. My about, about the, your $13,000 and everything and kind of get an update on where we stand on. Because here's where I stand. I don't mind helping you guys. Mm -hmm. Give me enough time to get out of this shit and off the rack. <laughs> and I'll teach you some crazy shit. You what now? I'll teach you some crazy shit. <laughs> Do, what do you mean? I know a whole lot more than you think about a lot of things. 
I'm just let go with that. About guns and stuff? Brother, you don't need me to teach you about guns. Okay. Or ammo. Or anything else. Okay. I know a lot of people. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not the only person out there doing this shit, right? Doing what? Fucking things up. You mean with the guns? Yeah. I'm not that original. Okay. Um, here's where I'm set. I, I've got waiting for three charges to come down on me, which it, it makes me work nervous as shit. Why I haven't been charged? Because I'm like, well, why? Because it's, it's coming. You know, right. You're not going to forget about it. Right. Uh, unlike the one dipshit attorney, I don't give a fuck about the weapons charges. Not my primary concern. Um, you know, fuck it. Um, when it comes to that, they finally got the money off my books. Finally, but it has been an absolute cluster. Fuck. Got the money off your book. I got money off of my personal checking account. Okay. But I had to get a power of attorney. So your mom was able to get that for out for you? Not exactly. We got it out, we got there, and then everybody wants to get bad information, and they, I can't have it. They took it, and then I can't have it. They've got it locked up, mom does, and they're terrified that you're all going to come for the money. So I can't even have the money, or pay my bills, or take care of Ashley. Your mom will give it to you? Uh, mostly it's Bob. Okay. But, I mean, I'm trying to take care of my family. Uh, since then, I understand that everybody on the planet wants to sue me. Fuck it. I mean, you, you uh, the thing about it, the money with your mom is, and, you know, you gave that to her legally. I did. So there's nothing, but I don't, but they, last thing I'm going to do is go after your mom. Let me, let me, let me get blonde here, okay? Mm -hmm. Bob was one of you guys for about as long as a fart in the wind. Okay, you guys got rid of him. Here, oh, that's right. He did mention that he used to be a cop. Yeah, for about uh, as long as lunchtime. Was he here at the sheriff's office here? Oh, he's in Spumber City. Okay, but he basically all gave him an, an all, gave him a um, ultimatum. Quit. He's fired. <laughs> okay. He thinks he's better than he's supposed to be. He opens his mouth for things, some stupid shit. The, the best thing in that regard, you have this attorney handling your civil matter, tell him to explain it to her. I've tried, but you can't... They, they, She's not all there anymore. She's so damn with the medication and just trying to get through. I understand she had cancer two years ago. I didn't know any of this shit. Right. Um, she's freaking the hell out. She went to home and mine just went to bed. I mean, yeah, from a one o'clock today, she just went to bed. I'm on the phone and she's just basically hung up and went to bed. I called Bob and Bob, please. She's there. Then me and Bob got into it. Um, Bob needs to help. Yeah. Bob's not out for anything. So, Bob, your mom is basically afraid if she gives Ashley any of the money or helps Ashley with her bills or helps you pay your bills with this money that you've legally given her, that she's going to get in trouble. Yeah, and she's not. Okay. I gave it legally. It was done the proper way. I need Ashley to get him some money. Uh, or at this point, if she feels that uncomfortable about it, give it all to Ashley. I don't really give a shit. I want the kid taken care of. What is the kid's name again? Kylie. Kylie. I want to call her Caitlin. W with an I. You know, I, have a, I have a niece named Caitlin that looks like her, so I want to keep calling her Caitlin. The kid's awesome. We yeah. had a lot of problems with her. She stole Sweden Mo and shit off of there. She stole little shit. Yeah. She got into a, a period of time where she basically was sort of lying her ass off on all kinds of shit. And we had to basically, it came down to a little simple. You either stop lying or I'm not going to be around you. Do you think that if I talked to your mom that she would listen to me? Maybe. I will ask tomorrow if I can get permission to go talk to your mom about that. But I have to get permission to work with any of that. Nobody's coming well, Bob opened his mouth to a freaking attorney that I know who does real estate only, mm -hmm. and Wit just basically, Wit doesn't know shit about this kind of stuff. And Bob thinks of every damn thing on the planet's day. I mean, all he does is sit around the house and watch TV and conspiracy theory. Yeah, I, I understand. One of those. I understand. Um, we don't get along real well. I understand. I'm a doer. He's a... I'll get to it when I get to it. No. Stop reminding me every six months. Right. Um... I know the car's going to be hung up for a while. By the time y'all release... I know the big one will be. I don't know about the convertible. I just need to get the damn thing sold. 
I don't I don't know about the convertible. I don't know I don't know where they stand. We're supposed to have a meeting. What do you think is why are they taking the car? I mean The feds you, are involved. Yeah, I'm cool with Okay. That. They're looking for a federal aspect to this because and what they call a federal nexus. Okay. You realize that I didn't make any money on all this shit. Well, and and that's that's what they're looking at. Uh, yeah, I okay? did. And once that, sh and that should be coming up very quickly. Once that can be proven, then there shouldn't be a problem. But I can't, you know, saying I'm not so, in control of that. I, I realize that. But Chris Clitter, for your recording, mm -hmm. I never mess with drugs. I never mess with people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I never mess with selling guns. Mm -hmm. I bought shit. I made shit. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of information from a lot of people who do a lot of shit. I'm not the only one making shit and the only person out there who knows how to do this shit. But I didn't sell anything. I made those for me. Let me ask you this. When you say you're not the only ones, how they're doing it. So if they came to you, you would be willing to help them find the people that are? Is that what you're saying? Uh, maybe. Okay. Facebook. Facebook mm -hmm. is a wild ass thing these days. It is amazing. Hey, Facebook. If you want to keep your job, your marriage, everything else, mm -hmm. well, that and LinkedIn. LinkedIn ain't got nothing to do with that. Oh, yeah. You would be surprised. LinkedIn is the number one slum way for men to pick up women now. There's actually an article. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because now you can inst you can message people on LinkedIn without just putting on posts. You can message directly. Strike up a conversation with them. No different than Messenger on Facebook. I would have never. I, I have a LinkedIn page. Heard me? And I would have never thought to ever. Mine is 100% professional only. There is no hanging. Right. But but you get a guy on there that sees an attractive woman that he's on her list. He can message her. Wouldn't do that. But but he could message her. Yeah. You know, and and get information and start strike up conversation although i was i was surprised they went to my amazon page where i had my amazon reviews and i understand that's just the rave right now of all my you know i'm a smart ass who did this uh people on the street went out and basically where i have bought things off of amazon and done a re done a, um a review review okay now i'm a smart ass bought, yeah huge yeah okay you like me. Yeah. I mean, I made comments about, you know, and I bought something that, you know, it's a hand puppet. It's almost as my girlfriend, and not quite. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I made a comment about, I bought, a, I bought a little shovel that's in the back of my thing. It's never been out of the memory. I've never opened it. I went by to check on her. Who? Because I'm the one that made the media back off. She was having problems with the media. Mom or, mom or Ashley? Ashley. Ashley. Okay. She was having problems with the media. Yeah. And they're being assholes. Well, they were basically told back off because they were like coming on the property, trying to come on our property, stuff like that. So I sent a black and white out there, mm -hmm. tell them back off. Yeah, they're going to go to jail. Yeah, you know. So, but oh, then all the orders that were across my fence line, thirty three feet of that is mine. I want you to arrest them all for trespass. But across the fence line, yeah, you know where uh, in front of my land. Mm -hmm. you now there's the fence. Yeah, there's the road. Yeah. That fence has been put off for a reason. Mm -hmm. 33 feet of that dirt is mine. I want all those little fools. 30, 33 feet from the fence out to the road is private property? Mm -hmm. Really? I want them all arrested. <laughs> I will file the complaint tonight. <laughs> I made one of them mad. Because they've reached out. You know, somehow or another they got my name. And my name's not anywhere. And But somehow or another really, they got my name. It's because, not to be an ass, okay? Mm -hmm. You have a leaking apartment. You're going to have a leaking apartment. It's real simple. They don't pay you guys enough friggin' money. Well, I won't talk to them. Uh, because, because, well, because this is my thing. And it's like I told Sheriff, it's like I told everybody, I won't do an interview yeah. because I'm not in this to write a book someday. I'm not in this to gain financially off of this. That's not my deal. You know, um, I'm not in this to rub Todd's family's name in the mud. Because any interview that I do, you know, potentially, not that I would intentionally say anything, but potentially anything that I say can be turned around 
And I appreciate it. Against your mom, against Ashley, against you, and just bring more problems. Problems. Plus the stuff that I know, nobody else knows, and it's case sensitive. My goal here, my goal's here. Mm -hmm. So, bro, I want to get off death row. Okay. Um, I need enough money to where I can, let's face it, man, I can't work. Mm -hmm. My spine's fucked up. It's getting worse by the day. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to work down there, and you're not going to want me working. Mm -hmm. Let's face it, I'm going to end up going down to, what, seven, eight life If I don't get on the death gurney, I'm going to get seven, eight life sentences. Mm -hmm. Let's be realistic. I ain't coming out of that. Okay? Okay. Therefore, I understand y'all have an honor pod, believe it or not. A what? An honor pod. I shit you not. I talked to the top thing, talk to the uh, um, attorney. It seems that when you go to maximum security, you got to you got to earn it, right? But they actually have wings or whatever it is. Uh, or if you don't start any shit, don't be any shit. Eventually, you can move to a wing. Though basically, it's a little more lax. I understand this is still maximum security lax, so don't think you're gonna be having lounge chairs and you know lattes and shit, right? But they just don't fuck with you as much. Right. Um, yeah, I won't be making that shit. <laughs> right. Thing is, I'm not scared of them. And right. quite honestly, they're not scared of me. You do have a few individuals who, of course, would love to basically, I'm um, on, fuck up the, the, the serial killer. I mean, I'm already been hearing all this shit. Serial killer, serial killer. I don't know how the hell they all figure this out so damn fast. But, oh, really? Yeah, but they, they're in my pot. But I guess they went from there. To I was, it was funny. I was in the grocery store the other night in Bila, mm -hmm. in Orange Springs. And I was standing there, and I'm, I'm in the express lane. And a lady picks up People Magazine. It's got your picture on it. Oh, shit. Not a big one, but it's up in the corner. Yeah. And it said, Serial Killer, or something like, something like that on there. And she's... Um... It's hard to believe this is happening happening here. Da 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 da. da. I just kind of looked over at her because it was she's here, I'm here, and there's another guy here checking out. And she starts reading it, and she's reading it out loud. Yeah. And I'm I'm halfway listening. I'm trying not to listen because I don't want to read it. Yeah. And um, I, and finally I just looked at her. And I said, "Don't believe everything you read or hear." Mm -hmm. And. She looked at me. She goes, well, how would you know? I'm the detective on that case. Well, I'm wearing this, and I got my gun on, and I just looked at her. It was, there was nothing else for me to say. You I didn't need to say anything else. Just don't. That's not really incognito. Yeah. I mean, well, it's just don't believe. You know, the media is out there for one reason and one reason only. I, You know, when you're a kid. You think that the news is there to tell everybody the truth and tell everybody what's going on. Mm -hmm. When you get older, you realize it's all about ratings. Uh, I'm surprised that I haven't had three women come up saying that, that they're having my baby. <laughs> and that, um, um, you know how the shit always ends up with some stupid shit. Yeah, the interview with your mom kind of upset me. That, that kind of upset me. I want to say something about that, but tell me why it upsets you. Just because... I saw the hurt in her, and I saw, I, I just thought it was unnecessary. I had asked her not to do it. The attorney had asked her not to do it. Mm -hmm. She did it anyhow. Mm -hmm. I had more people talk to me about how they thought it was fake and how she did not come across convincing at all on it. And I didn't see it because I don't have a TV. I have no idea. I haven't even watched it all. I saw the first few seconds of it and I, I was just like I'm not watching that at this point in my life people don't give shit okay people don't believe what they want to believe it's the way it's possible mm -hmm. they're looking at oh he did this and he did that and there's probably more there's no uh and they did all this kind of shit and all this kind of, and then gonna add to it add to it I got people coming out of college I don't even remember Bad mouth of me. I got an ex agent of mine that I fired, probably the one who wanted to give me the pussy for fucking seventy four dollars a month. Every back in two thousand eleven, I charged my agents seventy four dollars a month to work for me. I had to pay their I had to pay their E and O insurance. I had to pay their damn MLS expense. I had to pay all this. It's been jacked up since then to ninety bucks a month. Uh, I had two of my agents pretty much offer me that they didn't want to pay the seventy four dollars a month. How about I just blow you for it? 
And if you'd seen them, you'd understand why I said, nah, bitch, I want my money. Uh, you know, I just thought about something. You asked me earlier about telling just me and Mark yeah. about the the Arizona thing. Yeah. I just thought about something because you told me that you didn't know when you shot the guy if you killed him or not. I don't. They reached out to the jurisdiction where you lived during that time mm -hmm. with Arizona. Mm -hmm. That may be where that came from, from Arizona, because they, when they, I know the media outlets reached out to Arizona about your history mm -hmm. and when you were younger and you were arrested, mm -hmm. and that may be where that came from, because that didn't come from anybody here. Well, they all understand they went to some details, some shit. Um, that may be where that came from. Well, Arizona's not going to come get me. No. Um, that's not. But I just want you to know that I didn't say anything okay. to anybody. I don't think you two did. I think that somebody read your files. Nobody's seen my other files. The thing about it is, your interview, yeah. okay, the video from that interview in that room upstairs mm -hmm. is in Mark's, we, on our desk, we have a lock and key. Yeah. Okay? That's in there. That comp They have like one of those brown accordion by style way, thing. By the way, it's in there. the bottom secret was supposed to be a joke. The what? The bottom secret. The bottom secret. Oh, come on, man. You don't give it. Come on. Tell me you don't know that joke. You yeah. drawer? The drawer. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, it was a joke. I, I got it. I got it. Well, I tried that one time. The the the, the, the thick booty in there? Yeah. An ex-girlfriend of mine, an ex-girlfriend of mine before Ashley, mm -hmm. bought that for me as a novelty gift. Right. I let it sit on my desk. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> With a pencil under butthole and a pencil under and plot. <laughs> Actually, it was a sh it was a sharpie, sharpie and sharpie and a pen. Um, I was being a smart ass, uh, and I would have my agents would come over to get paperwork, and they go, "All right, I'll <laughs> it's a new pen holder I got. Look at this, eh. and I'd smack that, smack that ass, and watch it shake." <laughs> I was gonna say, "Did it shake?" <laughs> and it would shake, and then like. I'm like, what? It just it's crazy the shit they make in, in make in China these days. Look at this shit. It's like that. I said, if you get stressed out, and you're talking to a client, you gotta hear this shit. You just smack that ass one good time at it. Oh, it always holds a pen pretty good. And I had a few lines told me like, you can gotta get that off the fucking desk, man. I did. Yeah, and I did. Um, we'll say one week I did try it out. It's not worth buying. <laughs> Dude, I got a girlfriend to kiss it out. What yeah, I don't want that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I got halfway through the one. Well, that's like a lot. You know, you get guys my age, and they're like, "I'm gonna go to the strip club." I'm like, "I've been married for over twenty years." I used to go to the strip club. Hell, I used to take Ashley to the strip club, mm -hmm. but that was a long time ago. Yeah. And then they brought out teasers, yeah. and we walked into teasers with when I walked in. I walked in, and I'm going, "Uh oh," because I don't go to the strip club to get laid. Yeah. And I went in there, and they had uh, some rather large women. Lord women that were dancing and going. That's there. Yeah, I, my first encounter with something like that was when I was a teenager, and you know, you turn eighteen and you get to go to one. And my buddy goes, "Let's go to this one." And we walk in. And I look on the or walk in. It's no joke. Walk in, pay my money to get in. Yeah, and I look at the stage, and the girl that's on the stage is about two eighty five on the hoof, and she's about five five, and I'm like. And I thought, okay, that's the only one. And I look around, and the rest of them are the same way. And I'm like, are you nuts? There was, there was, a, there was, a, there was a skinny little crackhead yeah. at the front door. Which, yeah. all right. I'll check it out. That was the only one there. Everything was easy at 285 heifers. Yeah. And we're sitting there. I think we had, we didn't get a drink. Or maybe I did, never even, never even drank it. Yeah. And I went through like two songs, and I let. Oh, I didn't make it that far. I told my buddy, I said, I'm leaving. Well, I was waiting for the next th to see because you couldn't. And that place is so damn dark. Yeah, that I couldn't tell if that was just the bad dancer. Well, see, this one place they actually they would they would have them all out on the floor, mm -hmm. and whoever was next up to dance would come from the floor up to the stage. So all of them were out hustling to make money. Well, that's a good one, you know. But I'm like teasers. And yeah, Nikita's hanging at uh, Nikita's when it used to be at the original location. Yeah, okay. over here on West Blackstock. 
No, sir. Oh, see, so you weren't around when Nikita's was over there. No, sir. Yeah, it was originally over there. I'm talking about with the one that was on 29 going out on the hey, right. You know where the side. post office is on West Blackstock? Yep. You know the, just over the road? Right right? Yeah, that originally was Nikita's. Years ago. Year, couple, not long before you moved here. They need to just bulldoze that thing. They are fixing to. They need to. They, they Not long before you moved here, they, they, that was Nikita's. I was still on the road. I had been there when it was Sharkies and other places. Hell, I used to date one of the damn bartenders. Um, couldn't remember the name. Were two cute bartenders we call one tits, one ass. <laughs> I did, I did it. Did. <laughs> but, um, uh, look at this. I did it the older one. Um, but the, uh, I wouldn't say date. We, we, we fucked a few times. <laughs> we got out of the parking lot once. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'd go in there and play pool. Yeah. The kids would go over there and play. The kid, they had the kid section where it was just fucking nuts, and I hated that shit. They bring all the damn. Oh yeah, the hip hop or whatever. Well, they also had all these damn college kids, and a lot of them were not even legal. And I'm, and I mean, I understand this state legal is sixteen, but where I'm from, legal and uh, you can't drink, you ain't, you ain't. Yeah. Me. Um. So I just stopped and all that. Um. But I used to go in there and play pool until all the damn kids later. The kids wouldn't show up till 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Well, I'm not a late panel. I mean, we're not going to be a blue blue plate special here, but I mean, 11, 12 o'clock, I'm looking to book the hell out of here. I'm, yeah. So I wait. I go play pool for a couple of hours, talk to the bartender, play pool, do my little thing. And then when the kids start coming in, I'm like, look, idiots. I just wrap up my damn pool stick and I go home. Yeah. Um, That place was a shithole then. Yeah, but, nothing much good happens after midnight outside. It is Spartanburg. <laughs> and then I went to Nikita's with a bunch of school, school people, you know, two women and a couple of those guys. Mm -hmm. We didn't know where to go. We were looking for drinks. Hey, Trip those always give you drinks no matter what time it is. Yeah. And we went there, and this one bar, from and this one stripper comes up to me and reaches down and basically grabs my crotch, going, this is going to get good, and whispers in my ear, do I want to go to the private, private little room over here where basically she put that in her mouth? <laughs> and I so I could tell by the look on your face what happened there no it really didn't really it really didn't um she was not attractive but I you know it, it <laughs> um but I I told her I said maybe later yeah and she got pissed off leaned over and told me fuck you the way I wanted that doesn't mean later <laughs> I guess that closes that. That deal's closed. And I look at the look at the stage, and I got a fat chick up here, a white fat chick, mm -hmm. with a coochie that looks like it ain't been touched, and a skinny chick, looking like some fucking somebody ran over with a tractor and spun the tires. <laughs> and I went, "Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which one time, I went half. We have the cop and we'll do one of two. Um. The one I'm trying to get is obviously off death row. Okay. I want some money. I want my I want my money. I don't want your money. I want my money. Okay. Um I'm trying to help Ashley out. My mom is making it difficult. And she's making it difficult because she's scared. And she's making it difficult because she's listening to Bob. And Bob doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. What I can do is this. Um I have to get permission to do it. I fully understand. To go talk to your mom about the money. And explain to her, you gave her the money legally. They're not going to come after that. I took it out of my account. One is my account. I took it out of my account mm -hmm. before all this. Now, I understand that everyone is putting lawsuits, liens, and all kind of shit trying to get on my damn property. Mm. I already know this. Okay. Um, they're going to lock down my shit next week. They haven't done it yet. They've already put the paperwork in. The hearing's next week. What hearing? I understand I have to go to a hearing with a judge because of the money because basically they want to instead of me chart instead of, in order to get a in order to get civil defense or whatever you want to call it in order to get an attorney for a capital offense mm -hmm. you know what that cost uh, okay. okay the cheapest I have found is three hundred fifty thousand dollars if I hand you the cash today mm -hmm. you gotta wait for it <laughs> the, <laughs> mail. the most expensive one I've got was two point five million dollars mm -hmm. I don't have that kind of money. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest with you, I don't have the 350. Now, I have shitload of money in land. 
But what people don't understand is I'm not liquid. Anybody who has does investments, money, anything with business, nobody is liquid. Right. Okay. I may get the cards back. I don't think I'm going to get the cards back. Uh, the feds are going to hold on as long as they can until they can. And then by the time they, I get it back, if I get it back, everyone wants to sue me for them. Okay. I'm not even convicted. Hell, I'm not even charged with three of the damn offense. And I got people trying to sue me. Right. Um, the land. Dude, that land's worth a fucking small fortune. It's mm-hmm. just my language, but it's it's worth a fortune. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to get it back. I know I'm not going to get it back. Mm-hmm. I'm not even going to try to get it back. I should try. I'm trying to do it to give them a damn deal with it, leave the rest of my shit alone. All I'm trying to do is get enough money to where basically when I go to prison, I don't have to basically, you know how it works down there. If I got a fucking badass roommate, I got to pay somebody to give me another damn room, take care of little shit, leave me alone. Mm-hmm. I, there, there's nobody in prison, unlike TV, I'm not going to have a prostitute. Right. The warden's never going to bring me my mail. Right. No, he's not. <laughs> I will be saying yes, sir, to him the rest of my fucking life. Yeah. Um, you're not going to talk back to the guards. You're, right. you're, you're not a badass in jail. You think you're a badass. Yeah. You're not a badass. Yeah. Having a little bit of money, as you know, enables me to basically get out of situations mm-hmm. that I don't want to deal with. Okay. Um. I'm already looking. I'm already looking forward to eventually earning the right to be into an armor pod where people leave me alone. I'll leave you alone. We're calm. You're calm. It's a calm environment. I'll do this. I can't make any promises, I and I won't make you. I won't lie to you. Don't do okay. Um, I will talk to them tomorrow about this. I need that 13k. I'll talk to the sheriff. Soft. I'll talk to the sheriff, and I'll talk to the solicitor about this tomorrow. Um. And, and I'll ask permission. I was going to go check on your mom anyway, just to see how she was doing. Um, I was going to talk to the sheriff tomorrow to just get permission to do that because of all the situations and everything. And I didn't want to show up with my car there. It was kind of letting waiting to let the media die down mm-hmm. because I didn't want my silver Tahoe, which was all over the news yeah. at your house. And all over the news at your property, pulling up in front of your mom's house, and then, you know what I'm saying? She had to hit you to nut shit. And it's spurring up more stuff. Yeah. You know, I did go by Ashley's house after the media died down there. She wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Um, been by there actually a couple times. She's about doing as much as she can to stay at her friend's house. Okay. Um, but I figured, I figured she was probably staying somewhere else just because of all of the... Are they taking my mail? Or what now? The kid wrote me a letter on a postcard. A week and a half ago, and I they are not giving me mail. Are they holding my mail? It shouldn't be. It's a postcard from a from a ten year old. I'll find out. Uh, I'll, I'll find out. I, they shouldn't be. The kid broke down, started crying. Okay. Daddy's not coming home, and then proceeded to date, basically tell my tell her, which caused him worse. That basically maybe this will help Todd get right with Jesus. This is what the little one said. Yeah. Hearing that from a 10-year-old? Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. I'll find out about the mail, and I'll talk to them tomorrow. I'm trying to get... I gave my, money, my mom the money, trying to take care of bills. Now she's scared because now everybody keeps talking to her that they're going to sue. Well, they can't sue that money because that money, it was legit. Well, and you've already given it to her. It's already been given. So that money is off the books. Now what they can come after, and they will, I'm a realist. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, you know, the, the glass is not half full, half handy. This is just where it, where the hell it is. Right. Uh, they're gonna come after the cars. I get it. If the feds, go, if they can tie me to anything, they're gonna try to get them. Uh-huh. I get it. You're, you're not gonna tie me to selling suppressors because I never sold one. Uh-huh. I made them. I like to tweak. I like to play. I like to take things apart. I'm very good at it, and I got a hell of a history of it. Uh-huh. Um, you know, you see supply. But dying this fucking another day. Um, you're dying to what? See some of the shit I got, bro. Huh? Yeah, see some of the shit I got. You guys got the tanner right, right? Yes. Yeah. You know that the binder was separate. Yes. Yeah, I didn't want anybody to get it. I told them that when he got there, I said, you know, there's tanner right in there, and they're like, what? And I said, there's tanner right there, and they said, yeah, we found the tanner right. I said, you know, there's 
and I said, I can't remember what it is. I said, it's the oxide. I said, it's some kind of catalyst. And they're like, what? They're like, And I said, it's supposed to be on separate ends. And they're like, so they put uh, 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 back in there and like, okay, we found it. <laughs> don't let me forget about the, the, the chloroform. Okay. Because I don't want anybody thinking I'm using this shit to rape chicks and shit. Uh, I'm an asshole. I'm really not that asshole. Uh, that was given to me from a lab when I was trying to get other shit. And they they didn't have it at the time. And I ended up getting that instead. It was like, do you want this? I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. I opened up one dollar. I don't know. That just stinks. I closed the thing. Back. I never saw a movie with Bruce Willis one time where he said it makes pennies. Makes with chloroform it makes you taste like you had a bunch of pennies in your mouth. You ever seen the whole nine yards? Yeah. It, it was chloroformed in that. It said, tastes like pennies. Our whole ten, yeah, the whole ten yard. The second one, he goes, it makes taste like pennies. Yeah. I, was like, I always remember that. Uh, it, it was, it, I opened up smelling it. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. I don't get it, but I never used it for anything. Um, but I'm trying to get, well, I keep, yeah, I keep, I am ADD as shit. No, you, you're trying to get money so that you can, you're trying to clear things up with your mom and you're I'm trying, trying to, to get money. I'm trying to get money in my mom so that she can take care of her bill. She is broke to shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm finding out about the cancer and all this other shit. Shit ain't cool. Well, she's got enough damn money right now. Right. Okay. She needs to chill out because Bob's telling her stuff and Bob has a bad tendency to run his mouth and say stupid shit mm-hmm. that doesn't apply to anything and get himself in more shit. That's why he got fired from, from the police park. Because he runs his mouth and says stupid shit when it's not his place to say. He he, ca- he causes pain. Sure. Other than solving it. Uh, trying to get money to Ashley, and I can't seem to get them to give money to Ashley. That's a fun bucket. I need. I'm trying to get 13k. Either give it to me, please, or I know you have something new. You got to get right. it, all right? Or give it to Ashley. Okay. Um, I really want to go. They're going to hold. They're going to hold on the card as long as possible. The X5, the, the Z4 had. The Z4 has never been out to the land. Mm-hmm. The closest the Z4 came to the land is I drove by the land. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't go off road. Mm-hmm. Um, the X5 it's fast oh fuck yeah it is well, I know it's fast cool. which one the little one so it's the big one uh, that big one snipe your head back I was uh, I wouldn't loaded them up I wouldn't let anybody else drive them because I didn't want them I didn't want them screwing them up the uh, I missed it I missed like dog more in the tar that the look the, the, the dark dog the one that stayed between my legs the whole time yeah yeah she is having a meltdown. This year, like, dude, that is Daddy's girl. Mm-hmm. She is basically to- comment- comatose that she just basically doesn't understand. Daddy left me, mm-hmm. and hasn't come back. Mm-hmm. And it's like Daddy, Daddy doesn't love me anymore. And right. I don't like the dog gonna be around long. Um, I mean, Ashley's got her. I got taken care of. But I mean, she's used to coming up with me. And oh yeah, can I have it? I don't know about that. They do no. They down at the prisons, they do have some places where they have dog therapy. What I gotta? What I gotta do to get that? No, <laughs> I don't know any terrors. <laughs> I just be honest about it. I didn't think you did. If I did, I would have already killed him. I didn't think you did. I, I will tell you one thing. I will do nothing ever that's on America. Let me ask you this, and this is what this has come up. Yeah, I'm not a three percenter. This is this has come up. You made a comment or bird there was some kind of comment made about not knowing whether to kill her. Was it killer, keeper, or seller? Who the fuck am I not selling her to? Kayla. Kayla. Who the fuck am I going to sell over to? I don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Have you ever done? I mean, that's well, that's no, one of the sir. biggest. That's one of the biggest things no, if they're no sir. If they're questioning. No sir. I've never sold any. Because with the plane, running the planes and being a pilot and no. having access. That's good. So I mean, that's let's raise some of these questions. Okay. For the record and all that, um, I ain't ever sold nobody. Um, 
I went flying. It has been a while since I've been flying. It's a play toy. I'm really fucking good at it, but I didn't go to these places. Okay. Okay. I, I've done long range, mm -hmm. but... Who's the farthest you've gone? Mm. Thousand miles? Where's the thousand miles to get you to? Get a map, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's the thousand miles to get you to? Not, I, I've, I've been to Texas. I've been, I've been out. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I've been out. But uh, it's not in my logbook. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't going to make it easy on you. Let me guess you paid cash to refuel? There's another way. To refuel. Yeah, I got it. You paid cash. I always pay cash. <laughs> although although half the credit cards that you guys have come... Why do you guys have my credit cards? I don't have your credit cards. Those. I don't have your credit cards. You can't use them in here. I don't need them for me. I don't have your credit cards. I wanted to give my credit cards to... The, 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 I understand... Your credit card? I don't have your credit I understand card. My, my wallet is confiscated. My wallet has my pilot's license, my driver's license, has no cash in it. Where was your wallet at? Uh, wallet should have been on that thing right by the window, in the hallway. In the hallway with the TVs on the wall. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. And pull the top door out, should have been my wallet or something like that. That's right. There was that, and that's where the key to the convertible was at. Yes. Okay. I keep all my keys and all that in there. Supervisor, I didn't know that that was recovered in the search warrant. I didn't know your wallet was recovered. It's a standard thing. Okay. I mean, it's a standard thing to recover that. Can, can can you release the credit cards to my family? I'll find out. Uh, mostly the visa. I'll find out. But the reason is, was I paid all my cards off before coming in here mm -hmm. to the court. Mm -hmm. um, they owe me like $600 in, in stuff. I'm getting my family to basically Amazon me in books. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to actually have the CIV number and the, all the numbers and all the stuff on there to use the credit card. So I'm trying to use the 600 bucks they owe me. Um... Mm -hmm. For books and shit. Actually doesn't have the money to be paying on this kind of shit. And my mom literally can't keep the lights on. She eight hundred dollars a month. Dude, I've had bar bills like that. That's for social security check? Yeah. I've had bar bills. What's, like what's his name? Bob? Bill? Yeah, he? Bob. Bob, what's he get? He gets social security? He does. But I mean, neither one of them gets shit. Right. He ain't he ain't done shit. I mean, he's probably making a thousand thousand a month. She's making eight hundred. Half of that shit probably goes to damn dog food. Probably. Right. Uh, she ain't buying more electricity with the way the electric bills are. It is. So she's not. She's not buying anything. She freaked out when the computers were gone, and I told her that they're going to take them. You left the monitors. I gave the monitors away. My agents have the monitors. They were pretty pissed. They were all about you know they're upset. Of course I'm here, but I mean I took you know daddy went away. I was the one who made them the money. Right. Uh, most of them won't make any money. I asked. Then, uh, well, I could tell, and tell me if I'm wrong. I could tell some of the people that you took in is looking at your business cards, and I and I looked at their bios on the internet and and things like that. Some of the people that you took in, or a lot of the people that you took in, outside in the real world, if you were not leaning them, they would never make it. No. So without your guidance, they, won't. they would pretty much be minimum wage, Debbie, hourly employees. Debbie will literally get herself in the legal. He was Debbie. Debbie. Uh, Debbie Bernard. Okay. Uh, one of my big girls. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't have any skinny girls. Um, uh, she will basically get herself in the legal. She'll get herself in trouble pretty soon. She, I, I have to fight to keep her out of trouble. And she, her husband will just say, screw it. You're done. Um, Pam, Pam... You got to tell Pam the same shit over and over and over again. Um, constantly oblivion to, to, I mean, seriously. I asked her one day, I said, how many times did you fall for just the head, just the tip? <laughs> how many times did you fall for that? Because I know the number's more than three or four. You know, just this little game we call, put it in, see how it feels. You know, how many times did you fall for that shit? <laughs> Holy shit. I know. Why is that? Yes, you are. Man. Um... I had one of my agents one time sent me a text with with a picture of her cooch. Not pretty. Looked like, looked like Chewbacca. One, she was a fat chick. And two, it was full full grown Monty. I mean, full... Yeah. 
And I got that. And I went, the fuck? And I sent her a damn text back going, this will not increase your commission. <laughs> and she freaked out and went, oh my God, that's what's good to my boyfriend. Uh, boyfriend's name is Chad. My name is Todd. Oh, hell no. I mean, I'm a, I'm a cheap city bus. Like, I, I don't know about you, but before I send an email, a text, or something that has a picture of my junk out, I'm wanting to double check where it's going. Yeah. Because the first time I sent a picture of my junk to one of my clients. Yeah. That's felony. Maybe. It is for a man to do it. This is the odd thing. It is for a man to do it, but not for a woman. Is that necessary? That's not, not messed up. All I know is I'm pretty sure that my my um my 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 junk texts are I won't be getting with those anymore. <laughs> but no, I didn't sell anybody. Okay. Uh there are no more bodies on that land. Okay. Um there is no ammunition buried in that land. Mm -hmm. And if I did bury it, let's face it. Where are you gonna find it? You know, I'll find it. But there is yeah. Um, and the core phone was never used for shit. Because there's a conic box adjacent to your property on the property. And we didn't know if that was it or no. That was that. There's two in there. There's two in there. Wait, there's that. No, but you got to learn how to look at satellites. I haven't been out there that much. Anymore. Well, it's somebody else's land. Okay. Um, once upon a time, the land far, far away. The land that's in front of mine to the side. If you're looking at but this will work. If you look at the strip, and this is my land going back over here, where my land go down that, well, yeah, where you were here. And yeah, back yeah, yeah. Way back here by the thing. This land had been cleared once upon a time, sort of, sort of, in a way, and they harvest the, the lumber. When they did that, it's the only time I can look at tracks. I went back to the cell imagery back through the years to track in when they could get it, because there's a kind of back there that's blue uh, that is approximately 75 feet off my property line starting but they dug someone went with a bulldozer and dug in and down and then they got it in there mm -hmm. did a really nice job but they're in the wetlands and i would not build shit in there mm -hmm. um but they built it now it has stuff in it when i was there but i never saw in it it was walk and i don't touch it's profit right okay. then those people decided to sell the land and when they did that they went in there and emptied that out and her hand there's another little building those continents Creek, the street, yeah. the bridge is here. I mean, you go to any of go, but this actually is building right by here. It's on the property line, and then you got the columns here. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been either one of those buildings, but they were um, very defensive when I drove by a couple of times when they were unloading that shit because they had to go in the woods to get it and bring it out. They were defensive as shit when I tried to stop the car. Because there's supposed to be another Connex out here somewhere that looks just like the one you have. There's another green one. It's supposed to be under some trees or some shit out there on the property. No, it's not. Not on your property. On the property adjacent to yours. This property that you're talking about. Yeah, it's blue. Oh, I was told it was the same color as yours. No, it's not. It's okay. That's what somebody said to me yesterday. I was like, I rode all around there. I never saw I never, never saw it. You don't have to. Uh, go to uh, Google Earth. Mm -hmm. Type in Walford Road. When it pulls up and says, and you can pick from, pick from uh, Woodruff, mm -hmm. hit the little arrow button, the little uh, glass button, it'll take you to it. You're going to be way up here. Scroll down to here, find my land. They're down to here. Mm -hmm. When you find that area-ish, go over here to the little slider button and slide it back a couple years. And if you slide back to about 2011, 7, slide it back, it does, you will notice how satellites have changed over the years. Mm -hmm. When it slides it back, you'll see an image in there, and you can figure out where it is. Uh, there's two buildings back there, but they, I ain't been in one of them. Right. Um, I haven't been anywhere near that shit. I don't know what the context you're talking about. The only one that I've ever brought in was this one. I think he was talking about I think he was thinking of this. He probably was. was well, I told people when they came back here, don't go wandering. Uh, well, that's pretty much what he said you told her. Well, I've done all kinds of shit in this land. Okay. Um, I just took things down before... I told the neighbors I had put um, bear traps out there. Yeah. There was no bear traps. There was some other shit out there. But I took it down. I have the goats. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get my goats fucking shot. Right. Oh, yeah, and those little things. They got these little things you can buy for like $28. Mm -hmm. uh, they're like a huge, you, you join, you put a shotgun shell in. It's supposed to be, no, you're supposed to put shotgun shells that are flares. Mm -hmm. That takes all the fun out of it. Okay. What you're supposed to do is just put it across the thing, and when you, when you hit it, it's supposed to fire that way, of course, away from you and do a shotgun thing, which, of course, is going to catch the damn woods on fire. Right. Well, if you take those little eyelets, those little screws with the, with the, the ring in it, mm -hmm. and you put that in the tree, and you run your wire through there, well, then you can run across here and turn this this way, and you put a double, uh, to put a uh, double buckshot in it. He's at your knees and balls. Yeah. <laughs> so this is basically to keep people from fucking around on your property. Yeah. Or if they did, they weren't leaving your property. Well, two weeks two weeks prior to this thing, mm -hmm. I had people who snuck in. They snuck in my land. We're hunting you. Yeah. 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 Well, it's in there. Yeah. I hit one with my tack lights and mm -hmm. couldn't find them. Plus, those surefires I use are bright as shit. Yeah. Um, but I turned back around, hit the tack light, and then they they got quiet. So I moved mm -hmm. and then hunkered down for a few minutes. And then they got to talking again. Well, I didn't shoot at them. I just shot. Mm -hmm. I didn't shoot at them. Well, you're on your property. You can. But I popped off 340s. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know is buck hunting for the night. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear people grabbing their shit and falling <laughs> ass up that hill. I got, I got to ask you this. Uh, and, and two things that, you know, I'll, I'll go to them. And I'll talk to them tomorrow about everything. So I, I want to go check on your mom. Anyway. No, I want to go check on your mom anyway. Okay. You know, I, it bothered me about the interview. And I I know that same person that did the interview tried to get in here to interview you. The person that did the interview with your mom. Yeah. She tried to get in here to interview you. I didn't know about that. Amy Wood. I don't know Amy. Uh, yeah, I, but apparently I was under in. I, so I don't know where I heard it from, but somebody said that she was trying to interview. She wanted to interview you. I understand that Forty Eight Hours want to interview me, and I understand the world would love to interview me. I don't really feel the need to go on national TV and go, "What? Up? Yeah, um, it's not going to do me any favors. It's not going to do you any favors. I'm not making best any favors. Right. I would personally prefer that it's going to do anybody. It's just going to cause more RA, more more media frenzy drama. What's up with Kayla? Y'all know I didn't rape her. Y'all, you re-interviewed her. Mm-hmm. They, I didn't. They did. I was not part of that interview. I, I was not part of that interview, and I don't know where that stands because I have not been a part of her. I've never, I've, I, I can put it, I've never laid eyes on her. You know, that's not true. I've never, I've never been. I, I should have looked and I had the blue dye. She wanted to dye her hair blue. Cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. She said, well, I'm never going to go in public again. You know, you got all the letters, right? Mm-hmm. All of them? Well, we think we got them all. You found the ones I tore up in the trash can. Mm -hmm. I was just throwing shit away. I wouldn't hide shit. I just... Well, those actually weren't in the trash can. You know that, right? They were still in your drawer. No, no, no. The ones that tore up. Yeah, they were in your drawer. Yeah, they were in the desk drawer where we found the other letters. They weren't in the trash can. I looked like, actually, it looked to me at first like you were using that big, deep drawer on your desk to the left. No, that's all my receipts. It looked like you were using that as a trash can because that's where I found them. Yeah. That's where I found them. No, sir. I had, there was big paper. Mm -hmm. It was little paper. Mm -hmm. But I, I threw a lot of them in my desk top drawer there should have been a bunch of them in the bottom drawer yeah. those were actually my receipts mm -hmm. but she was such a crazy bitch mm -hmm. that i figured i was surprised when you didn't come earlier i was really i was really surprised when i didn't hear from you within three weeks within three weeks of her missing i didn't think i was gonna get away with it i didn't mean to do what happened that wasn't intended. I got pissed off. I got upset. She was talking about spending the money on heroin, and I got pissed off about the shit. I don't like... Did you think that Charlie was the one... I meant to ask you this before, and I don't think I'd ever got to. When you said you came out and you shot Charlie, 
Was that because you thought he was the one getting her back on the drugs? A lot of it. But he was acting creepy as fuck. He spooked you? He wasn't acting right. I'm not saying he was going off or not, but he just... Something was wrong. Off. Like... I don't know what the fuck it was. And then she was talking about she wanted me to hurry up and pay her because they wanted to leave and go get. She wanted heroin and Roxy. I didn't know what the fuck a Roxy was until after that. Really? Dude, I don't do drugs. No, no, no. I mean, that's what she wanted. Yeah. Okay. Um, She made it crystal. No, I mean, I, I know you're not. I, I know you're not. She, she made it crystal, crystal clear many times. It's in her papers that if I let her out for half a second, she's going to go get high. Now, she blames me for Charlie. She hates me for Charlie. But she was very clear that she wanted the goats. The goats weren't born for her, but... She wanted the goats? Oh, you ain't heard this part. Um, she wanted the goats. She had me hunting for a chicken coop. She wanted to raise chickens. That whole area... Fuck. Here. This got weeds and shit that you, you went out there and would look and see if I had buried something. Yeah, we haven't been there, but that's what the guy was saying. You he dug the hole for you. That's next to the garage. That's where I'm talking about. Nobody dug anything there. For that's what this guy's. Uh, they cleared out a lot for me. Yeah. They cleared a lot. Of them. She wanted a chicken coop. She wanted the goats. I had burrows on the way. Uh, she wanted me to put her a chicken coop in. Burrows? Yeah. Really? Yeah, jackass. Yeah. Mm. Um, we're going to be like her own little oasis with animals or any fucking shit. We? I'm telling you, she wanted me to go get them. I went street. You have no idea how much money I spent on her to keep her quiet and happy while I could figure out what the fuck to do with her. Mm -hmm. I didn't put her up there for a sex toy. I didn't know what to fucking do with her. Mm -hmm. I went to Lowe's, checked my credit cards. No, you have. One time. I haven't. They went, I went to Lowe's the next day and went, what the fuck? And bought you joints and all that shit. That's how that shit got mounted to the fucking wall. That wasn't mounted before her. I went to Lowe's and went, what the fuck do I do with this bitch? Uh, I had a choice. Drop her? Mm -hmm. Or hold on to her? I don't know why I didn't drop her. I don't know why I didn't drop her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like hurting women. Mm -hmm. The year before, I had the ones that tried to rob me. I don't give a fuck about him. I I just found out today that he, they had just got out of jail when this happened. I didn't even know. I knew they'd gone before. I didn't know they, they were going to jail. Mm -hmm. He pulled a knife. I got no feelings for that. Mm -hmm. She went bad shit. I... Dude, I offered her 4K. Mm -hmm. She was happy as shit. Mm -hmm. Going to get a new life. Didn't like Johnny that damn much. You know, going to get her 4K and then look, take her to fucking Tennessee, drop her ass off, and hey, man, look, you go left, I go right, we're cool. Yeah. And boom. She was happy as fuck. Dude, I mean, we had sleet and lane. And I am not driving with somebody handcuffed in the back of my fucking car to fucking Tennessee. Do you know how many times a cop... Yeah, yeah. How many times somebody gets busted because you, you drive off the road, you do something fucking stupid, you got a bad taillight, something stupid happens, and the, and the, and the state... It's kind of hard to explain a girl handcuffed in the back of a BMW. No shit. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I'm not going to shoot a cop. Yeah. yeah I, honestly, I hate to say it, mm -hmm. but if I get pulled over and a cop pulls to my window and I've got him going and go... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that comment was made about the property. If we'd come down here on the property while he was here, we were screwed. I said, he wouldn't have done anything. Not if he showed the badge. Yeah, I said, he wouldn't have done anything. I said, if you, I started telling him, I said, if you'd showed up with black and whites or whatever, I said, he wouldn't have done, he wouldn't have done shit. And they're like, how can you be so sure? I said, you know, I said, talk to him. I, that's what I said. I said, talk to him. I said, intuition, whatever, just talk to him. I mean, he's not that kind of person. Now, if it's a bunch of drug dealers that showed up, yeah, we gone to war. Yeah, I mean, it's or to one that shit. <laughs> you, you know, you gotta appreciate it. And I hope I'm not taking. No, I'm kidding, man. You gotta laugh and even. I heard like that movie Walking Dead. You just pick them off in the field as they walk. And I'm suppressed. Yeah. Um, 
you kind of kind of laugh at it when even Chuck Reichel thinks says, he had good taste in weapons. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's a fucking shame, but damn. <laughs> um, oh, I had a serious fucking high end fetish. I mean, that's a real M24. Mm -hmm. uh, in regard to your uh, uh, Ruger Precision Rifle, you guys ain't got one of those. Not like that. That's been modified. Uh, I don't think anything you have hasn't been modified from your cars to your cars on model. Well, I mean, you had them specially built, so they're That's not true. they're not the original. If if you look at them, they look like the original X five and Z four, but they're not. But from the factory order, and, they're and, not. And then for the punchline of the show, I go. <laughs> Girl was like, when are you going to get that and enlarge? Look you. <laughs> you have to go with stand a white boy issue. <laughs> I, I, but, no, if they had come down when I was there, <clears throat> I was surprised that you, you guys cut the chain and how fast you guys walk in there and this all developed so, fa so fast. But if they had come in when I was there, mm -hmm. I would have been pissed. Excuse me. I would have wrapped the bolt back. The, the bolt, I wouldn't know who you were at first. Right. I would saw, see, see movement. Right. Uh, I was never more than X amount of feet from a gun. Mm -hmm. at, yeah, I kind of picked up on that one when we went back to the house. I had to tell you where half of them were. Y'all didn't find them. Uh, Thank you for joining me in this video. Um, I'm sorry for any transcription errors, uh, especially for those of you who are either hard of hearing or are... Uh, translating into another language. I have used automated tools because it's just too much for me to transcribe myself like I have in previous videos. So please forgive the transcription errors. I am going to be moving on to part three uh, and getting it ready to go. I should be releasing it in the next few days, week at the most. So if you haven't subscribed and you want to be alerted when part three comes out be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so with that i will bid you adieu and i hope to see you next time take care thank you very much for watching this video if you liked what you saw please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments or questions please leave them below